ladies and gentlemen, this is Khan Ulrich coming to you with another episode of XCOM Beta 15 Long War. When last we were apart, or I should try this again, when actually the last we were together, we had a horrible, horrible experience down here in Tijuana when we lost something on the order of about 92% of civilians during our first terror mission. To be fair, we got kind of hosed by things, but you know what? You know what? We, we, we got back on track because the next thing that happened is we had a UFO flying over Russia. And we said, you know what? Screw that UFO. We're going to shoot that guy down. So now what we have here is we have ourselves another UFO crash site and we're going to get straight to it. As I probably mentioned last time, it's in forest, which means there's lots of vegetation, there's going to be a lot of trees, a little bit of like out in, you know, out in the woods kind of feeling to it. So if you give me a second, I'm going to get a squad together, and then we're going to go take down those alien jerks. All right, I'll be right back. All right, I think we have ourselves a decently scary squad. Given that this is a scout UFO, I don't want to take an entirely souped up troop out there, but at the same time, I would want to use this to kind of level up some of my forces. So I'm taking one red shirt that's over here, PFC Toke, Talk, or something like that. Not really sure what his last name is, but we do know he is actually from Cambodia. I had a friend of mine take a look at a previous video and <laughs> be a little bit confused about the flag on his back. So yeah, this guy over here, Cambodia. Unfortunately, we're going to Russia, so it's no holiday for him. Alright, start from the right instead. We have another bullet wizard, recently promoted, specialist in Hydar. Uh, he's packing a little bit of explosives just to demolish some cover. He's got a med kit because he, hopefully he won't be shot as, you know, as quickly as everyone else. Our first call sign, by the way, I didn't realize, is actually Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. She is a Marsha Missionary Suarez. Not sure I like that, but you know what? We'll take it anyway. And actually, you know what? I'm going to change her, change her name right now. Her nickname's got to be Brady. Marsha Brady Soros. Yeah, I like it a lot more like that. That works for me. So Brady is our first nickname individual. Packing explosives as usual. Another specialist. Uh, we have just to bring in a gunner. Lots of heavy machine gun. Smoke, laser sight. Our sniper's here to kind of take down long distance targets. And we have a scout to kind of get up close and personal. Chuck flashbangs, throw out a scanner, things like that. With a scout, we should be pretty good. But you know what? We're not going to know until we get into it. So let's go right now. Strike one. Prepare for landing. And our hop, skip, and jump away. And here we are. We'll be deploying to Russia for this one. The downed UFO is in a remote area outside a small town. If we can secure the crash site, we should be able to prevent any civilian casualties. I'm a little curious how every single time we're in Russia so far, it's just been in remote areas. Copy, Big Sky. Strike one is clear to attempt the breach. Okay, so... Somehow this tiny little alien craft managed to put a giant hole in the geography. But I guess we're not going to be too picky about it. We'll just note the fact that it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. That's cool. That's cool. As we get started, I'm going to try to take this high ground and move directly into the alien craft from there. And that fog of war is completely gone now. Well, we had the alien craft somewhere in this area right here. But the last patch... Aye, aye, Commander. ...heavily took away our ability... Ah, there we go. Heavily took away our ability to kind of look into the darkness. Affirmative. Beak. Running. I'm 
on the move. I'm on it, Commander. I get that my initial moves seem might seem a little bit strange. But I really There we go, that's why. I really didn't want to move too far and suddenly find myself activating a pod on the last move of the last person moving. Shot wide. And this isn't too bad, we can deal with this. We get three, three up, one down. Which we theoretically should be able to deal with this. Actually, you know what? This might seem wasteful to some people. But I definitely think I want to get eyes on those bad guys. So. We're going to back it up. We're going to chuck this bad boy out there. Oh, no. Okay, we got eyes on three. Hmm. I'm rolling. So who's the only Joe? Ah, it's Marsha. Jeez, Brady. On my way. Heading to that location. That's what you get to see. All right, but you know what? Whatever. Whatever. I'm not going to complain too much. We're not crazy out of position. Moving Just a little position. bit. Still not ideal positioning for me. A bunker up up here. Okay, he's gonna take a fair amount of fire, but you know what? Not an absolute ton I can do about that. Wow, he's really back. He's really booking it, isn't he? Come on, come get your just desserts. Alright, homie, you gotta hit shots like that, though. Specialist Hydar, I'm pleased with you, my son. Okay, so they're all on the north side. Yeah, see if we can get talk talk. Guess not. Well, that was fun. All right, folks, here we are again. We said suffered ourselves a little bit of a crash. I think we'll use our sniper to take two for the price of one. He's down. And the question now is how do we settle these two boys over here? I think what maybe I'll try doing is be a little bit aggressive. Yeah, I Clearing at least one of these. And probably the other one too, if we get any closer. On my way. See if we can soften these boys up a little bit with some grenades. Catch. 
I'll take that. That'll work for me. Now, 40%, not great. Not bad, but not great. Who hasn't shot yet? I think we'll do suppress it. I admit what I'm trying to do here is oh, yeah. take folks out as quick as possible so as to not take too much fire. It's not kind of an obvious thing. At the same time, you don't want to be too aggressive or too passive. It's a really, really weird, Solid copy. not dichotomy, but kind of a, just a weird basis. You want steady weapon, right? So you're gonna book You're starting it. to lose ground. Hunker, okay. I'll take that. That works for me. Okay, well. It looks... It looks like we'll have a shot on at least one of them. Or we could just completely blow it. Miss the target. Marsha actually might be moving up to nade both them out of the cover. Headed there now. It's a little bit aggressive, but you know what? I think it's time just to, to finish up this particular engagement quickly. And I'd rather deal with them Throwing now grenade. as opposed to let them linger. I realized now that we're that in. I've been really worried about keeping him in cover. I really don't have to worry about that. If you remember last time when we leveled up Martinson, she is commander. now one of those individuals that treats everything as full cover. So now he's a defensive god. Which is great for some things, and in others it just makes you want to cry. All right, now with the scout UFO, really only should be dealing with like one pod. Sounds like we have a drone out in the open. What I really would like to do is pick up some meld. Don't know if that's going to happen, but we can give it a try. I'm on it, Commander. Let's go, Brady. All right, cool. We're just going to establish some sort of a firing line, I think. Roger that. Heading to that location. Time yeah, to motor. Maybe. It's killing time. Oh wow! Great, so much far left. Do you hear something? You know what? We're going to continue moving forward. I think. It seems something like, like sort of a foolhardy idea, but I really want that meld. Really, really, really want it. And I'm willing to, willing to play it a little bit. Loose, if that's what that's it gets us. That's affirmative. Heading to that location. Pretty sure we're going to proc. Outsider pretty soon. Ready to engage. In Bewegung. Find a Gesicht. There we go. Finally.
And wow, really no squat side on that? Okay. We're going to do this the old fashioned way then. Headed there now. Let's go, Brady. HE grenade right on top of the bugger. Should get rid of all of his cover. The sniper still can't see him. Are you kidding me? All right. Roger that. He can't see him either. This is bull. This is BS, son. Moving to position. Okay, well, I may have just consigned Marsha to a fiery death. She knew she was a professional. She knew what she was getting herself into. She's going Overwatch. Moving out. Watch me be able to see him from here. Yep. So he'll heal up three, which is kind of dumb. But he's not flanking. I said he's oh jeez, duck. Phew. Been on that could have been really bad. <laughs> this dead Marsha son, you can live to fight another day. Moving out. Here's the question: Will she proc the other pod? No, she will not. Awesome. He's gonna kill him, so let's do it up. Quick cow. Nice. Alright, now where's that tasty, tasty meld? Apparently not in my view. How disappointing. So good news Ruin. is we know. This area is clear up to about here. I'm gonna stick our heavy machine gunner with the yonder. Location confirmed. And move Jalil, Jalal. Up here. Oh, here we go. One drone, two drones. Damn it. What is it? Four? Ah, uh, jeez, okay. That's fine. That's right, charge me, boys. You can do it. I have faith in you. Heading to that location. Wake up, wake up. Arr. I think you know all what I had in mind when I was going trying to do there. Eh, but you know what? No news is good news, right? I'm on it, Commander. I think what I will do is establish ourselves a firing line. Arg. Okay, I have one more guy that should have a grenade left. No. No. He had the boom grenade. Okay, that's not a problem we can deal with this. Got it covered. Okay, well, that was uh, disappointing. Very disappointing, in fact. But I'll take that. What I will also do is pop smoke on top of us. Kink. Okay, well. 
Gotta try, you know. Might as well suppress the near the nearest bozo. Because he will take a shot, I guarantee you. Okay, he's still flying. He's also still flying. We decided that puttering is a better option than actually doing something. Oh, wow. Okay. What we've got here is a failure for these drones to actually want to live. Oh, great, Martinson. Can you pop them for me? Okay, well, you know what? That was a rough shot. You had to move yourself into many different awkward directions to do so. Fire two. Ah, missed. How about this? Well, high explosives help our cause any? No. <sighs> to withstand an impact like that, at such a velocity. The materials used in that vessel's hull must be at least an order of magnitude beyond any element we know of. Alright, I'm gonna bolt through here and try to pick up this Melvair Scout. You, sir, are going to Back on reload line. so we can take a couple shots with you. Keep suppressing you. And I think I just screwed something up there. But you know what? We won't know until we try it. In fact, you know what, Marsha? Let's try to pick off this drone over here. Or at least do some damage to him. With a grenade. There we go. And she says, you know what? I don't believe in drones. I don't like drone technology. Quick out. Yo, Veha, I, I supported you and I brought you on this mission because I wanted Cambodia to be a part of this. But if you can't handle it, I mean, I get it. Let's uh, just continue our little walkabout over here first, I suppose. Aha. There are the goods. I'm on it, Commander. Our sniper has absolutely nothing worthwhile for him to contribute to our mission. I don't know how much damage this will do, but if I can Frag get them out. to be a little bit more damaged. I'll, I'll take that. That'll be decent enough damage for me. Now, the question is, can people convert? Okay. Out of round. Adjusting sights. Please, I don't. Thank you. He's down. I'm all out. Suppress the last little bugger. Okay, I have to. I have to know. Please, did we get to this in time? Yes, we did. Folks, how about that? We have ourselves melt for the first time in ages, and it's so much melt it's not even funny. Just 
continue to suppress. Just keep doing what you're doing, big guy. Because he's not going to move. Because he's scared. You know why? Because you terrify him. You with your big bad cannon over there. Look at you. Martinson. The man who packed a twofer. There we go. Impressive display of pyrotechnics. All objectives complete. Now that went better even than I thought it would. Well, except for the game crash or two that we had in the meantime. Missions go as well as this one did. The aliens don't stand a chance. Awesome. So now we have another scout sniper. We also have a second nickname coming through. Lockdown. Kind of like it. Works for me. What do we have? Snapshot. Precision shot. Or disabling shot. Uh, this is going to be a hard one for me to pick off. Mostly because I understand all of the, let's say, particular things. Hmm. Alright. Here's a quandary. Well, the way that the Long War plays, it kind of immediately sticks you with squad sight. I don't really want to go and play with moving a sniper and taking a shot, moving a sniper and taking a shot. So while it's great, it's just that it really doesn't play to his strengths. And with squad sight, that's really what you want. Um, disabling shot is great for when I need to really kind of slow down enemy aggression. And precision shot is, is great when I just want to throw out a ton of kills. Actually, you know what, more that I think about this right now, when I start wanting to capture aliens, I'm going to want disabling shot almost constantly, so I will take that, I think. I will worry about Feha the next time. So two corpses, three drone racks, so, you know, itsy bitsy little bits here and there of stuff. And stuff for us to sell because it's damaged. Kaching! Our worst suspicions may have been true after all. They're not just here for abductions. They have something else in mind. Mm-hmm. What was your first clue there, the Sherlock? Alright. I really want to build the training school and just say damn everything I know this probably not a great idea I really really want to do that uh, I also want to build where is it a thermogeny a thermogeny is crazy expensive Yeah, you know what? I will take you off your training school. The quicker I build it, the quicker I'll be able to get bigger squad sizes, which means I get people boosted a lot faster and everything like that. I do think while I'm here, though, what I'm going to also do... Commander, the artifact we're about to sell to the Council hasn't been examined by the research team. I'm sure Dr. Volland would be disappointed if we put financial gains ahead of our own research and development. Sweetie Pie, if he doesn't understand, she don't understand, then you know what? She ain't never gonna understand. Plus, trust me, everybody, we're going to get plenty of sectoids yet. Plenty of them. Okay, so lots of requests, my guess is for satellites. Yeah. And I really wish I could do a lot of them, but it's just not going to happen right now. I will say our hangar, which now that I think about it, Raven 1 has a kill, which means it finally gets to have a pilot. Q-tip Murphy, I'm loving it. Alright, Q-tip, that's your, that's your show. In the meantime, let's scan for some more activity. Commander, you've picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. All right, so when next we get back, we're going to be fighting into a large building again. Hopefully it'll be a little bit more pleasant for us to handle than our last terror mission issue. But until next time, 
we have eight hours to take care of it. I mean, it's probably not going to be that much of a deal. But until next time, I promise you, we'll be, we're doing just fine. Yeah, look, honestly, really the worst thing we have to have to really be concerned about is five wounds. Other than that, we have a fair amount of stuff going on up here. Probably bring back Victor for next mission, throw Sokolova in there, maybe get another squatty or two, like another rookie. Yeah, actually, you know what? I'm liking where we are right now. We're in, we're in pretty good shape. But until next time, this is Conover signing off. Take it easy, everybody.